Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku for Sunday, the 7th of July, 2024. This is going to be a little bit interesting because I have all three fives in the top three rows. I only have two of the sevens and two of the nines, but the seven and nine don't go in the same spot. Now, in the middle rows, I'll be able to place a three in row six. But I have all three fours in the bottom three rows. Now, typically, I've found that when I get all three of them, <coughs> excuse me, they usually end up as a tougher grid for whatever reason. But if I switch by columns, I don't have anything in the left three. In the middle three, I'll get a th three digit in column four. I'll get a seven actually placed in box five because I have three sevens looking into it. And as far as the right columns, I don't have anything. Now, if I look at other faces of scanning, four in column seven looks up, so one of those two must be a four, and therefore one of those two must be a four. This cell in row three, column one, is a hidden eight. It has all the odd digits given, and it sees two, four, six in its column. So, the rest of these are two, four, six, and form a triple, except that can't be four. Okay, next. Um... Where can one go in box two? Unfortunately, just about everywhere. Hmm. And so one can't go here either, so one's there. This is hidden one for a pair. This, this can't be one or four, so that must be one or four, and therefore that isn't four. We said those two were two, four... No, this can't be four. This can't be four. That's now a four, and we'll leave that in the blooper reel. I leave for church in half an hour. Okay, this is two, three, four, five, seven, nine. This is going to be from one, two, six, and eight. Of which two's now on the diagonal because neither of those can be a two. This can't be four or six, but unfortunately, everything else looks in. Two, five, seven, eight, nine. I need one, three, four, and six for box one. And I don't have much else to go with it. The rest of row one cannot be two, five, seven, or nine. And then I do some cleanup. And I don't really see anything that comes out of it. Uh, these two can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9. Those two were 5 and 8. So that cannot be 8. Uh, 1, 4, 5, 7, 8 in column 7 means I need 2, 3, 6, and 9. I think that one could be anything. <clears throat> so can that digit, this one can't be 2. Uh, 1, 4 here means that's not 4. Okay, what else can I do? Column uh, 5, can't be 3, 4, or 7. I clean this up. I don't have much. See, seven can't go in those three, but unfortunately could be in three spots in box seven, so I don't have any help there. Now, what about nine? These can't be nine, and these can't be nine. I've got the same problem. When 
nines in box four. Okay, these six digits cannot be one, four, or six. Mm -hmm. Okay, none of those are five, eight, or nine. Actually, that's a triple, that's a two, three, seven, triple, so none of these are two, three, or seven for that reason. And this one also is an eight. That's not seven, that's not two, and I've got a five, eight, nine to fill out the rest of box seven. Not that that does me any good. But... This can't be three or four. This can't be three, is what that says. See, so these can't be one. Those two are the only ones. They're both in row two. So these two are not one. Now this can't be one. These can't be one because of this. So one is now placed in box two. And therefore, none of those are one. But as expected, I don't have much help. I've got two thirds of a five, eight, nine in row seven, but I don't have much that I can place. And what about these? Two, four, six, eight are placed in column one, so I need nothing but odd digits left. which go in that configuration. Now, this can't be seven by given, this can't be seven by triple, that's not seven by place, and that's not seven by seven in the box. So the seven in box four is actually a hidden digit. Uh, I've only got three digits in row five. That's moderately annoying. Let's see, these can't be three, seven, or nine. For row four. And I don't think I'm going to have much help otherwise. As far as resolving digits. At least immediately. Doesn't look it. In row five, I only have three, six, and seven. Five, eight, nine up there. That takes out one. I don't have much else to go with it, do I? These three in row six can't be two, seven, or eight. This is four fifths of okay, one, two, six, eight, nine. But actually, this can't be two, and these can't be two. Where does two go in box two? That's hidden. So six is placed, eight is placed. Makes this a two, that not two. Those aren't eight. This isn't six, neither is that. Let's see, these three cannot be two, four, or seven in box eight. This one sees three, eight, nine by column and six by row. These both see five and six by column, but that's it. Now, all I've done is I put a one four five six quadruple in column six, but that tells me nothing that I don't already know. Now what's left here cannot in these two cannot be one two five. In row two box three. Hmm. 
I don't have much to go with that, do I? And then that can't be four because there's a one four pair here. Okay, well, I'll do these first because none of those three cells in column nine, box nine, it'd be two, three, four, five, six. So they are strictly from one, seven, eight, nine. These can't be one, two, four, or nine. Yeah, so now you're looking at potentially hidden digits like these twos force a two and one of those two. This two rules that one out, so two in box nine has been placed for a while. That will undo the two, three, uh, seven triple in column two, and therefore that must be a three because this cell cannot be. Which rules those out from a three and that these two from a seven because I placed a seven in row nine. Let's see, two in column three, box four can only go there. And two is also here. So I end up with an X-wing on twos in columns three and four, like right next to each other. All right, five is here. Let's see, one's there, but that doesn't tell me anything, it does it. No, seven is in those two in row seven, box nine. Ah, I now have a one four pair in row five. So this has to be a five, it can't be one or four. That should clear up a lot of other digits, I would think. Neither of those are one or five. Or six rules this cell out from being a six, and it already was ruled out from being a five, therefore must be nine. That's a one. These aren't one, this isn't nine. Two eight makes this a nine. These aren't nine, I end up as a triple, but I don't think I'll bother. Trying to color code any more triples at this point. I've got a one three five triple in column one, placing a nine. Five eight rules those two out from being a five. Three four six. Well, the only place for nine in column three is there. This now has to be a two, which will sort out the eight two and the five eights. The one in row six will sort out the one fours. Do I have enough to be able to just fill things out at this point? Maybe five eight makes this seven, that nine. This isn't nine. Four in row six will sort out the six four. This is enough to undo box four. This is a four six, so that's a one, that's a three. This is six, so that's a nine, that's a three, this is an eight, that's a four. But this is seven. Five, three, yeah. now I have enough to just fill out digits. Eight, five, 
and 5 and 4 and 6. And there we go, 15 minutes even. Well, this wasn't bad, but I had to fill out more of the grid than usual to find five essentially hidden singles highlighted in dark green. And once I found all of those digits, it was relatively straightforward after that.